Welcome back. It's day 282 of growing pomegranate trees from seeds. Once again, I've decided to start using chemical fertilizer instead of natural methods to fertilize my plants. So when I make a decision like this, I do it for all my plants. So you'll just see a wave of new content where I'm sort of showing the same uh, motions, going through the same footage over and over again, just to keep people informed in all those different series that I'm doing things like this. I'm making changes. So this container, this watering can holds slightly less than a gallon and a heaping scoop from this uh, spoon utensil that comes with the fertilizer is intended for a gallon of water. This isn't all detergent, it's just water. And you can see uh, it's not fully dissolved here as I recall, but it's mostly dissolved. And you can see a blue tinge to what I'm pouring out of this watering can. So this watering can is actually getting pretty old. The uh, rubber gasket is now faulty and leaking. So I'm looking for a replacement. And it's day 303. Two offshoots grew off the base of the main stem. So I'll clear away all these weeds. And I've been doing this pretty regularly. The clovers just always come back in force. So you can see in the middle there, there's two offshoots going off the main stem. So that's a very pleasant surprise. Um, I don't know if it's tied to the fertilizer, but it's a pretty mighty coincidence. So the plant seems like it's on its way to bigger and better things. This main stem though, from which the two offshoots are going out of at the base, it's still unable to hold up its own weight. So that's always been a problem in the series. I suspect that the root development underground is very poor and hence every time I take away the support it just falls over like that and if I even mist it or water the leaves um, from top down just splash some water on there then everything just falls over from its weight. So that's just falling over from its own weight just uh, sitting in still air right there. So. I'm really hoping I can get this thing to stand up like every other tree that I'm growing has no problem standing up but this one is just uh, it's been through a lot though so it's it's been through two transplants already it's been through some rough times and I'm fertilizing again since uh, the first one seemed to work pretty well so we'll see what happens and you can see I put some parafilm around the rubber gasket day 318 there's a lot of new growth um, I'll show you later, but the main stem still can't support its own weight. So every time I rip up all these weeds, it uh, looks pretty barren for a while, but all the weeds pop back. So I guess that is sort of proof, you can see some new growth there, that um, the scattering of dead foliage on top is you know, the natural way in which nutrients get from the dead leaves back into the soil get absorbed by fungi, mycorrhizal fungi, uh, mushrooms that are bound to the roots of the plant. And yeah, this main stem is getting pretty tall, which makes it further unable to support its own weight. You can see the pink um, growth at the very top. So that's the section that's uh, relatively new. And then it becomes sort of a, a tan. It gets darker, and then when you go towards the bottom, it's sort of... Uh, covered in bark although it's very thin so you can see these things are all attached so when that falls over the two offshoots are crooked as well so I'm loath to trim the entire thing but I've been thinking about it so it's day 329 I bought a 12 pack of Rubbermaid soft waste baskets off Amazon for three dollars each these will serve me well not only as trash cans but as planters so uh, I came up with the idea that these things are cheap. I'll just get two of them and stack them and drill holes in them for drainage. And the one on the outside and bottom will act as a watering tray. So planters that I had in the past were, um, those were actually not too bad. The self-watering planters that you've seen on my channel, but uh, they stopped selling that brand at one point. I don't know why, um, but they just did. And then there are some other brands that offered that, but none of them were really up to snuff. 
and they're pretty expensive as well and these are not the kind of things the self-watering planters that you can buy on Amazon for cheap they're really expensive online these days uh, there was once upon a time they were cheap or at least comparable to the prices you would pay for in like say a Lowe's or a Target but nowadays um, yeah I can't really find them and the ones I do find are unesthetic and not as functional and expensive so on day 337 I'm doing more preparation work I figured um, this is a little bit of work but it should really pay off in terms of providing a container that's big enough the cross section of these trash cans is of course a rounded rectangle instead of a perfect square or a circle so there's less horizontal expansion room for the roots but I think it's still mostly the the vertical um, soil distance that's the most important thing of course you can't have something that's just like one inch in diameter but um, yeah this will save a lot of weight and work in terms of all the sand and soil mass that I have to prepare so I think it's a decent shape I don't think these will fall over so it's day 338 it's time to cash in on all my prep work I have eight small holes in the inner can top can and four larger ones that are positioned higher for the bottom can and as you can see some of the weeds are making a comeback as always uh, these offshoots are growing taller and the main stem it always looks like it's going to branch off but it never really does I think you do have some offshoots developing on the high end of the main stem so the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of this organic detritus and there, I really haven't touched on the topic of how that kind of stuff really attracts fungus gnats and little annoying flies and other species of gnats so um, yeah there was a time especially during the spring and summer whenever I opened my balcony door to go do some work or just to check out my plants um, yeah I go in later and find uh, some little fly buzzing at night around my bathroom mirror so it was really annoying so I just made a major blunder there and I was really worried that I would break off the root system from the stem and I think there are some fragments of roots in there that's to be expected this thing has a very fragile and delicate root system it's very underdeveloped and I don't think that's just because it's the nature of the plant it's just I haven't provided the right conditions for the root system to grow and become very robust so it just looks like that it's pretty sad it's no wonder that this plant can't uh, hold itself up it just doesn't have enough of a root system not thick enough roots to anchor itself so right now it's just sort of leaning against the um, the metal wire table so it's pretty tall it's finally taller than this uh, wire rack and it looks pretty good in here this is a uh, 75 percent sand uh, it's just play sand from Lowe's it's been pre-washed doesn't need to be washed and the other 25 percent is clay soil from the local hills so what I had before was a 50 percent 50 percent mix of sand and clay soil and that was just draining horribly so as you'll see the drainage is much better with 75 percent sand and 25 percent clay soil um, I'm going to fast forward through some of this but basically you'll see in the upcoming minute or so of footage that it drains very very quickly for something that's uh, bone dry to begin with um, clay particles have electrostatic properties that kind of make them fly all over the place when dry and they're actually very resistant to bonding with water um, until they've been exposed to water for you know maybe a few minutes if it's a very large mass of clay you'll no notice that the water never gets into the center of it it just interacts with the outside and that's it so it's day 352 it's been two weeks after the transplant and as you can see we've lost a lot of leaves um, I'm not that alarmed I do think that a transplant of that magnitude was probably very stressful and to conserve water and resources it makes sense for the plant to shed a lot of leaves I don't think this segment is significantly taller it does have a pink section at the very top and sort of a semi-pink section below it so 
it is developing a little, but as you can see, after I untied it, it's been in that position for two weeks. It can actually stand up on its own. It's pretty impressive right now. It sort of has a, a question mark um, bend to it. And you can see uh, that section with the clay gathering on one side that was probably towards uh, the outside of the balcony. So this balcony is sort of tilted so that rainwater and water will run off it. And uh, the silt probably just gathered there. So it's not like the sand in the silt, I mean the sand in the clay soil just gets separated completely. I think uh, it's more or less everything's locked in place. And I did lose a lot of volume. And you can see some offshoots, two offshoots, symmetrically coming out from this section right here. But it just refuses to get any longer, it seems. So I want to take a look in here, because I lost like maybe an inch of volume on top. But when I lifted this up, I found that the muddy water within actually didn't contain all that much mud. That's not a very thick layer at all. So the clay soil predictably ran through the small holes that I drilled into this larger trash can. But, you know, after inspecting that, I don't think I need to inspect the other ones because I, I had a similar volume loss. And I was really worried for a while that all the sand and clay soil just ran down into the bottom trash can. And you can see here this horrible wilting action of, you know, everything was just dry and now that I've watered, um, it's all starting to shift around and fall fall over again so it's not what I expected I thought this thing was gonna have no problem standing up for the rest of its life and that the fertilizer was making the stems a lot thicker and stronger and I'm losing leaves now as you can see